abakaba parliament okuva mu northern uganda balabude jeno seven of mediye okumi ya gyogo na batadde ko kwa northern uganda bali food day ekitagasa olokuba mbunno babira yo buru kale baloza mubajja kuba linya ku mutwe bakole bibaga de northern uganda kwa manisha ngo kubaya kalu banono banade wo sali sali era ndo balabula jeno seven kastalu nuluita tadamu kutinye shikile chumnoza ni Uganda na abandwe kubange shina veyo eja kuwa nga kwa masifumba mtuku kwa soke mikuwe liga mbotele enso hiyo wa uzumufu dokushi eh, tutambule chigamu Uganda One Life Authority should open the Masindi Chikomanyombo Gate para Tangi Gate Road for all private vehicles and passengers free of charge as is for buses until the rehabilitation works at the Karuma Bridge is completed and the road is reopened to the public. Two, heavy trucks and other goods vehicles that were diverted to Kafu, Masindi Town, Kenyara, Biso, to Albertine Rift Valley in Bulisa District to access the National Park through Bugungu Gate in the western part of the national park should continue using the designated route under the following conditions. A. The unmotorable sections of the road are urgently worked on so that the diversions of traffic into the forest is avoided. B. Government should provide security for the trucks between Kinyara town, Biso town and Biso town to avoid the highway robbers from stealing goods from the trucks. Number three, UWA should immediately address the bureaucratic red tap in accessing and exiting through the national park. Number four, Uganda Wildlife Authority should reconsider the, the restrictions on the time and allow buses, passengers, and private vehicle cars to travel between 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. so that travelers do not incur additional costs on accommodation during the travel. You realize that the gate opens at 7 a.m. and closes at 7 p.m. Here we are asking, we are asking government and who in particular to revise this time of opening the gate from 7 to 6 a.m. so that people can begin to access the gate early and be able to exit up to 8 p.m. I think this will not be able to cause extra damage. Item number five, government should increase the number of trips for the ferry between Wanseko, Panyamur from 2 to 4 to ease traffic crossing through Legal but. Number six, government should fast track mobilization of funds for the construction of a new modern bridge at Karuma. Number seven, government should fast track extension of standard gauge railway from Toronto through Guru to West Nile to facilitate movement of cargo to West Nile. Number eight, government should fast track a modern design and construction of a new bridge on Albert Nile at Parkwatch to address the persistent floods arising from River Tange breaking its banks. Number nine, government Ministry of Works and Transport should introduce domestic flights by Uganda Airlines between Entebbe International Airport and Arua Airport at subsidized costs for those who can afford to be able to move quickly and conveniently by air. Ministry of Works and Transport, Uganda National Roads Authority, and Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, so the agent will meet with the members of West Nile Parliamentary Caucus to discuss three key issues. One, Laropi Bridge Construction, Afoji Road, and Kokoko Yume Moyo road projects to address specific concerns which are arising from certain clauses of the of the loan 
for the construction of those projects. This is arising from the rationalization of UNRWA and financing agreement with the funders of these three projects. I thank you very much. This statement is issued by West Nile Parliamentary Caucus. I remain at Tima Jackson. Mm. Echi in northern Uganda, to the top of Fugabi, Oba Kuemania, Oba Kunyoma, Oba Jogo, a young of Metia Genome Seven, Kuaba and Tokuaga Banjo, a Tekako, a Meda, and Kavaganda Wawi, eh, Oba Sasuzi, Kuanga Mbuaku Wagia, Oba Chuba, Chuba and Wiyoku Bayakalu, Banangishi. Son Lee Booty, Member of Parliament, Rural Central Division, and Government Regional Whip West Nile. Uh, I want to add my voice uh, as the Regional Whip of West Nile, uh, a Member of Parliamentary Caucus uh, for West Nile. Uh, on top of what our Chair has presented, a position of Members of Parliament from West Nile Region. Uh, aware that from this date of the closure of Karuma Bridge, many interventions have been going on individually, groups, presentation on the floor from members of parliament from West Nile and the North, uh, entire Northern Uganda. Today we are here issuing a, a special and official press statement from West Nile Parliamentary Caucus representing all the population of West Nile. Uh, as the office of uh, regional whip, yesterday I was in touch with the government chief whip, who is my immediate boss, concerning the closure and the effects of the closure of Karuma Bridge. And he reported to me that this was one of the key items discussed in cabinet yesterday. So I am very optimistic that uh, today, in our plenary at 2 p.m. in, in, in Parliament, uh, the, government, the, the government will come up with a statement resulting from yesterday's cabinet sitting, a statement that will unleash, that will ease, that will make the people of Northern Uganda have some hope that from today's statement, uh, these conditions that might... If you're not making... My colleagues have highlighted, which our chair has highlighted, will be responded to positively so that people will have hope, uh, business community that have been stuck with their business uh, items, business merchandise will move uh, easily to farmers who have uh, crops, farmers who have uh, items that they need to take from one location to another will be able to access the locations which they want to move to, the markets where they want to take uh, their items, their commodities to. Three, persons will be able to access the National Referral Hospital from the three sub-regions of West Nile, uh, Acholi and Lamo, through using that uh, 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 Masindi and other access roads that my colleagues have made here. Uh, this is a situation which is more like the lockdown which happened during the COVID pandemic, in my view. But when uh, the COVID pandemic hit this country, COVID pandemic hit the world, different leaders managed it in their own ways. I want to thank His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni for managing the COVID situation of the COVID pandemic very well. And I want to urge and appeal to him that this situation, which is more like the COVID situation of COVID pandemic of COVID-19, should be managed the same way it was managed uh, during that time. For example, His Excellence allowed a sense of goods to move. His Excellence allowed certain things, some conditions to be relaxed so that people survive. So 
uh, equipped in this situation with the COVID pandemic lockdown, I will appeal to His Excellency, I will appeal to government on behalf of the people of West Nile, let us allow certain things to happen as this uh, lock, uh, closure of Karuma Bridge uh, is, is, is on for the three months. And we will want Ura to consider that people along that line need to survive. People from that region need to be connected to the country. Otherwise, it becomes a very, very pathetic situation when we saw vehicles lining up, when we saw people getting stuck at the gates, when we saw people crying all over the regions of West Nile, Acholi, and Lango, the cries of the people should be heard. And yeah, we have come in a very disciplined way. We would have done other options, but we feel this is our own government. We should come and raise our voices in such a humble manner. We appreciate all that government will do so. In today's statement, we expect all these conditions, all these appeals that the caucus of West Nile has put forth should be respected, should be responded to positively so that the people of Northern Uganda can have hope. Thank you very much. I want to put one thing clear, that when the Masindi Para Road was to be constructed, government actually compensated UWA. And that's why we have kept on asking the question, why is it that in the whole country we have other national parks where roads pass and people pass without paying? So why in particular the Masindi Para Road, yet UWA was compensated? We have raised this issue a number of times. There is no tangible feedback. Ministry of Tourism, neither uh, Minister of Works, has ably answered why we have kept on paying. We are here requesting that let there be free passing for three months. But for me, I want to put this clear. This road, UWA was compensated. This road must be opened. And West Nilers, all the people of North, should not pay for this road. I also want to say we are not poachers because we are citizens of this country. This national park is like any other national park in this part of this country. So we are not poachers. We are using this road just the way any other citizen of this country can use a road that passes within the park. Uh, I want to say that the women are suffering. The women who are moving with the children in their hands. They are pregnant women who have to spend the nights, women with the babies who have to spend nights on the road because of the challenges of passing through the road. So I want to concur that we have principally said it is, and we wish to have actions, because this is not the first time we are raising this, but we have formally, as a caucus, raised this and said that there is no condition, tangible condition, that we must be paying for the Masindi Para Road, because who was compensated, we are citizens of this country. It's not a crime that we are from West Nile. We should be treated equally like any other citizen of this country. Mm, you must, you must, you must, you must, you must be treated equally like and like me, like Jerome Seven, like Saleh, like his son, like his mom, like like everybody's treated equally. But this segregation, or Abana Nebiana, Uba, Okladino, Akamani, Rune Jogo, Gadino Seven, Quay Watuari, Agamatuman Kurashi, after Lolo, Munes Baku, who are now dressed up as Rukum Seven. A Naka Jamas of Varia Janga, Tabati, Mura, Vasaki, Mavasaka, Mabe, Vasaki, Ege, Nariba Mukoni. Bandiba de Vati Ganga Babu, Kanibala, and Kumukamuna. But we are we are we are taking taking our government. more. We are but my